Lesson 2.2D, Comparing Very Large Numbers with Scientific Notation. We can compare very large numbers in scientific notation by looking at the number with the greater exponent in the power of 10. We have 2 and 4 tenths times 10 to the third power, and 2 and 4 tenths times 10 to the fourth power. This has a greater exponent in the power of 10, so we know this is the greater scientific notation. Now, if the powers of 10 are the same, there's another way to compare them. I want to take you back to grade school math and remind you that the multiplicand is the first number and the multiplier is the second number and together they equal the product. We have 2 and 4 tenths times 10 raised to the fourth power that would equal 24,000. The multiplicand is the factor that is being multiplied. The multiplier is the number of times the multiplicand is multiplied. When powers of 10 are the same, we can compare the multiplicands. Now that may have sounded confusing to some of you, so let me elaborate. The multiplicand is the first factor in a multiplication equation. The multiplier is the second factor. We have four classrooms with 20 students each would be written as 20 times 4 since we're multiplying 20 students four times. There's four classrooms of 20 students. We have 20 times 4. Here we have 2 and 4 tenths times 10 raised to the fourth power and 2 and 1 tenth times 10 raised to the fourth power. They've got the same exponent for their power of 10. We compare their multiplicands, the first number in multiplication in an equation, and since they both have the same power of 10, we can see that 2 and 4 tenths is greater than 2 and 1 tenth, so this scientific notation is greater than this one. We can compare 60,000 and 3,000 using standard notation. We put 60,000 as the numerator and the 3,000 as the denominator. We write it as a ratio. 60,000 divided by 3,000 is equal to 20. So 60,000 is 20 times greater than 3,000. And we can compare 60,000 and 3,000 using scientific notation. We write them in scientific notation first. 60,000, we would go 1, 2, 3, 4 hops. That's where our decimal point would end up being. So we can just write it as a 6 times 10 raised to the 4th power. We have 4 hops. And 3,000, we would go 1, 2, 3 hops. So we would have 3 times 10 to the 3rd power. So the first thing we do is compare their powers of 10 in a ratio of greater to lesser. We have 10 to the 4th power divided by 10 to the 3rd power. And quotient rule, we just do 10 to the 4 minus 3. That's going to give us 10 to the 1st power, which equals 10. Then compare the corresponding multiplicands, the 6 and the 3. We're going to compare this 6 and this 3, the multiplicands, as 6 over 3. And 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So 6 times 10 raised to the 4th power, this one, is 10 times 2, which is equal to 20 times greater than 3 times 10 raised to the third power. So we know that this one is 20 times greater than this one. We know that's the greater number. So remember, when comparing numbers that are written in scientific notation, always compare their powers of 10 first. The number with the greatest power of 10 is the greater number. You may think that 9 and 9 tenths would be the greater one because it's greater than 1 and 4 tenths, but when we compare their powers of 10, this is raised to the second power, this one's raised to the third power, that's the greater power of 10. 9 and 9 tenths times 10 raised to the second power is only 990, but 1 and 4 tenths times 10 raised to the third power is 1,400. This is the greater number. And remember, when the powers of 10 are equal, compare their multiplicands. Here we have 5 and 7 tenths times 10 raised to the third power, and 5 and 1 tenths times 10 raised to the third power. They have the same power of 10, don't they? So now we're going to compare their multiplicands. 
5 and 7 tenths times 10 raised to the third power would be 5,700. And 5 and 1 tenths times 10 raised to the third power would be 5,100. 5 and 7 tenths is greater than 5 and 1 tenth. We know that this is the greater side. It's the greater number. Here we have 4 and 6 tenths times 10 raised to the fourth power and 2 times 10 raised to the fourth power. They're both raised to the same power. A ratio of the greatest number to the lesser number when simplified will tell us how many times greater the numerator is than the denominator. We have 4 and 6 tenths over 2 as a ratio. 4 and 6 tenths divided by 2 is 2 and 3 tenths. So we know 4 and 6 tenths times 10 raised to the fourth power is 2 and 3 tenths times greater than 2 times 10 raised to the fourth power. We finished part D. We're going to move on to part E, the last part, comparing very large numbers in the real world with scientific notation. So one more time, when comparing numbers that are written in scientific notation, always compare their powers of 10 first. If they're the same, compare their multiplicands. I hope you join me for the last part of the lesson because we're going to talk about some very, very large numbers in the real world. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.